All right, and now it's time for talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, as Bianca just mentioned, the Dolphins do have a brand new offensive coordinator. He comes to us from Chicago. The Bears, I'm sure he's looking forward to the warmer temperatures, but is he going to get a, a better team? Because really, yeah. the Bears is not so hot. Uh, what do you think he can bring to Miami? No. <laughs> Well, here's the problem with this whole thing. When you talk about being a Miami Dolphin offensive coordinator, you know, you get the game plan ready, you put stuff out there that you think will work, but you're not calling the plays. So it's really difficult uh, for all these coaches when you don't get to call the plays and you're putting this game plan together, and then if it doesn't work, you end up either getting demoted or you lose your job. So uh, to me – a majority of this still falls back on Adam Gase. If you're going to call the plays, you're going to be responsible for all those crappy numbers that we had and getting this thing flipped around. It's going to be on Adam Gase. Last year when things were good, it was about Adam Gase. It was about the plays he was calling, the big plays in the offense and all the things they were doing. This year was a bunch of bad numbers. So I just don't know how much I read into it behind the scenes, helping him out. I understand it's important so he has more free time to be the head coach and worry about other players parts of the football team but I, I feel bad for these offensive coordinators when you know you get to put the game plan together but you don't get to call the plays yeah. I mean that's a big part of it uh, it'd be very difficult for me I have way too big an ego I want to call the plays <laughs> of course you would Joe of course Adam Gase the former <laughs> offensive coordinator himself so now he kind of has that mindset right. and he gets to call the plays so you know that's what you get when you're the head coach he was that's also right. at one point a quarterback's right. coach and that is certainly something that the Dolphins have been hurting for in recent years of course we, we do have Ryan Tannehill on the team but he was injured for the last year but uh, the Dolphins brain trust as uh, some people are calling them uh, met with the media yesterday and talked about the future of this team specifically at the quarterback position. They think Ryan Tannehill will be back and better than ever, but what do you think? Do the Dolphins still need to go ahead and draft a QB? Ryan Tannehill's a starting quarterback. We've known that for a long time. He's going to be healthy, uh, and we'll see how he plays. They need to go out and draft a quarterback, and they need to draft a quarterback high. And if they like at that 11th pick, if there's a quarterback out there that they think's got a chance to be a franchise quarterback, they need to take them. They need to take them. I understand if it doesn't work, everybody gets fired. You can't miss on franchise quarterbacks. But you got to trust that you know what you're doing in the front office. And if you see a guy you like, Mayfield, Jackson, any of those other names, and it drops to number 11, and you go, wow, we really like him. But, oh, we need another position. No, you got to get your franchise quarterback. He can sit at least for a year behind Ryan Tannehill. Hey, hopefully Ryan Tannehill plays great and he's a quarterback even longer, but we need to get that future, a franchise quarterback. The Dolphins need to start thinking that way. I know it's gutsy because if it doesn't work, believe me, if it doesn't work, a lot of people get fired in the front mm. office. But, man, you got to trust the process that you know what you're doing. All right, Joe, let's see if they listen to you. <laughs> I'll be curious to see how they do draft. Nobody's, nobody's listened to me Everyone for 25 years. My wife doesn't okay. listen. My wife doesn't listen to me. I do. For three my kids minutes don't listen. every hour, I listen Thank to you. Joe. Have a Thank good you. one, my friend. Bye-bye.